What is up, my beautiful rosebuds? Of course, it's your favorite rosebud, Nisi K. And of course, of course, your girl is back with another gossip video. And this video is going to be regarding our favorite duo, Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter Sr. But we are now including the son, Kevin Hunter Jr in the mix now before we actually get into this video though i do want to go ahead and ask you guys to like this video subscribe to your girl sharing is caring hit that notification bell so that when i do upload more videos you guys are alerted and i say this every video guys so you already should be aware follow your girl it's free 99 what is y'all waiting for go ahead stop this video Pull up all your social media from Facebook to Instagram to Twitter and Snapchat. Look up GossipBud87 and follow your girl. It's free 99. We love the support. And without further ado, let's go ahead and let's get into this drama. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is actually going to be regarding um, Wendy William actually being supportive for her son when he went into court to actually plead not guilty when it came to the whole scuffle between him and his dad. Now, Wendy did say that she would actually still have to deal with Kevin Hunter Sr. And this actually proved to be true because she was in the presence of her ex-husband as he also showed up for his son um, court appearance regarding this scuffle, even though him and his son aren't on the best of terms as of right now. And of course, this scuffle ironically had to do with Wendy Williams a little bit not fully though but a little bit now page six is actually reporting that at kevin hunter jr's court hearing on tuesday uh, he actually entered in a not guilty plea with the prosecutors actually coming out and asking for more time to thoroughly review said case while both wendy williams and her ex well soon to be ex-husband kevin hunter senior waited outside the courtroom as they didn't go in because they was not trying to cause any commotion and make things even more difficult for the son especially with everything that is already going on at this particular moment now of course this whole situation is actually stemming from a fight that actually occurred due to allegedly Kevin Hunter Sr. getting upset because now we know Kevin Hunter Jr. actually came out and called him a bitch which caused Kevin Hunter Sr. to pretty much get all up in his face uh, his son's face pointing his finger and that's what made um, Kevin hunter jr push he came out and he admitted that he pushed kevin hunter senior because you know he all up in his face talking crap and putting his finger in his face which then prompted kevin hunter senior to strike his son with a closed fist which kevin hunter senior is actually coming out and saying he did not do that he's ad adamantly denying touching his son right now I also like it came out pretty much and I did do a video I mentioned it in a video where it came out that Wendy told her son to stay and file a complaint um, and even called the police twice herself which in the end actually backfired as instead of Kevin Hunter senior being arrested Kevin Hunter jr. was the one who was actually arrested and is now facing charges now if you want my opinion on this particular situation which I'm pretty sure you guys might have not asked for but of course I'm gonna give it anyway I honestly feel like when it in this particular situation that Wendy Williams actually should have just allowed Kevin Hunter and his son to handle the situation if she would have allowed Kevin uh, Hunter and his son to handle the situation then there wouldn't be a case going on right now now allegedly the reason this case is being picked up even though Kevin Hunter senior has come out and said that he's not filing charges on his son and he, he just he's not gonna 
be the one to push this is because in the state of New York when it comes to domestic violence if it's a domestic violence situation the state has the right to pick up the case which I'm guessing the state is actually coming through and saying I want to pick up this case now mind you like I said if Wendy wouldn't have made her son stay to actually try to file a police report and actually you know interjected herself and actually allowed because her son is 18 years old he's a, he's a grown-up like she should have allowed him and his father to be able to actually sit down and try to rectify the situation and whether it was a situation where the son was like I just don't want to have nothing to do with you anymore or I'm gonna move forward or try to make our relationship better you never know but ultimately the end result wouldn't be that her son got arrested and, and now he is having to go to court and actually plead out on this and he's pleading not guilty of course in this particular matter but you know when evidence and everything comes out <sighs> It can get a little messy because at the end of the day ultimately i feel like the reason that he actually was arrested and went to jail is because when wendy wanted him to stay in place uh, like you know press like give a police report and stuff like that it was acknowledged that while kevin hunter jr looked like nothing was wrong with him his dad did have like i guess he was bleeding from the nose and granted just because you're not bleeding and you're not showing any scratches or any bruises or anything like that it doesn't mean that she, he didn't strike his son but the one who came out with the most damage in the situation is Kevin Hunter senior which is why they did go ahead and take junior now this whole situation seems to be a huge mess ultimately because it is being advised that uh, Kevin Hunter senior did put hands on uh, Kevin Hunter Jr. also then I don't understand why he is not being tried he, he wasn't locked up in fact I don't understand why he wouldn't be um, put in as the um, aggressor and the one who started the fight because let's be real granted everybody has been saying that well Kevin Hunter Jr. called his dad a bitch and you're supposed to respect your elders so he was wrong for that right me personally I feel like well okay yeah he called his dad a bitch but let's be real we tell kids this all the time sticks and stones may break your bones but words will never hurt you so yes was his son sitting here saying something that he probably shouldn't have said yes but look at this situation like let's be real Kevin Hunter is not innocent in the situation look at how like Kevin Hunter Jr. has pretty much most likely grown up watching how his dad treated his mom and how he just did her terrible and did her bad and then on top of that you have a um a, a, you pretty much have a, a side chick that you've been with for like 11 plus years that now you have a child with which you're pretty much like stepping out on his mommy you had a baby with another woman like let that had been uh Wendy Williams doing what Kevin Hunter uh, senior was doing I'm pretty sure he would have a hissy fit he would be so angry like so I don't even know why he's so shocked by the fact that Wendy wanted to leave him after all of this came out because like come on she that was one of her rules is if you have a baby on me I'm done he had a baby and again like I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go back to my comment where people say that um, Kevin Hunter Jr. pretty much got what he deserved when his dad came at him because he called his dad a bitch I've always been the type of person to where I'm like this yes you want to respect your elders but at the same time you're not gonna get to sit here and disrespect me or disrespect my mom or anything like that and, and just talk crap and be disrespectful and then still feel like I need to show you respect once you get disrespectful to me then it, it all bets are off like I'm the type of person I'm gonna treat you the way that I want to be treated but in order for me to maintain my respect for you you need to maintain your respect for me once you lose that respect for me then it's done it's over with and the reason I sit here and I say that is because technically Kevin Hunter senior did not have respect for Kevin Hunter Jr. because the whole reason this argument started where Kevin Hunter Jr. even called him a bitch was because of the fact that Kevin Hunter Sr. was pretty much talking crap about Wendy Williams and trying to say that Wendy Williams is pretty much poisoning her son's mind when it comes to his dad. That's what happened. Let's be real. 
right guys I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna end this video I want to know you guys opinion on the situation um go down below comment let me know how y'all feel on the situation again everybody's opinion is not going to be the same so let's be respectful go ahead and also like go ahead and subscribe go ahead and hit Hit that notification bell so that when I do upload more videos, you guys are alerted. Remember, sharing is caring. And follow your girl. It's free 99. I say it every time. It's free, guys. What y'all waiting for? All social media under GossipBud87. And until the next video, guys. Bye.